Formula One Spanish Grand Prix pre-weekend. After five races this season already, Formula One will arrive into Barcelona, Spain for the Spanish Grand Prix, the sixth event of the 2022 Formula One World Championship during the third weekend of May. The Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya, has been in the F1 calendar ever since 1991. This being said, it has witnessed multiple world champions win the Spanish Grand Prix, such as Elaine Prost, Micah Hakkinen, Michael Schumacher, Fernando Alonso, Kimi Raikkonen, and the reigning world champion Max Verstappen, among others. It comes without saying that the seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton has won there multiple times as well. What's more, he has won the last five editions. The world is at his feet. Which means the track suits him pretty well. It would be accurate to say it wouldn't be a surprise if he won, though this year it would genuinely be surprising if he managed to take his Mercedes bouncing to victory. Anyway, if there is something we have learned over the last few years, it is that Hamilton is capable of doing incredible things while driving an F1 car, so we'll not count him out yet. Over the last few years, this classic circuit has been more famous for its dull races rather than memorable racing. However, in 2022, the Spanish Grand Prix is set to be held in the middle of the championship battle between Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen who have been giving fans some good action so far this season. Hopefully, they will be able to turn trends around in Barcelona and provide an unforgettable Spanish Grand Prix as well. Leclerc arrives into Barcelona with 19 points on the World Championship lead over Verstappen, with plenty of races remaining. Checo Perez is running third at the moment, while Mr. Consistent George Russell sits in fourth place. We'll have to see if he can manage to keep his streak of top five finishes in Spain. But so far, he's been doing an incredible job in the Silver Arrow. Carlos Sainz and Lewis Hamilton ahead of Lando Norris sum up the top scorers of this season so far, prior to the Spanish Grand Prix. Another factor that could mix some things up would be the presence of rain, but unfortunately, this is not a very likely phenomenon in Barcelona at this time of year. It will most likely be a dry, two-stop race such as it was last year, due to the nature of the circuit that pushes tires to their limit. We must bear in mind that it will be the first time that F1 will be racing at Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya, under the new regulations. So we will still have to see how the new tires adapt and what strategies are recommended by Pirelli for the race as the weekend unfolds. Ferrari are expected to bring some upgrades for this sixth race of the year, which might make the flawless F175 even faster. However, Red Bull has also improved their reliability throughout the last few weeks, with their title contender and defending champion Max Verstappen winning the last two races in Imola and Miami. With both Ferrari and RB seemingly very fast, both with their strengths and weaknesses, it will be interesting to see who results the fastest in Spain. We must not forget about Mercedes, who have had great results at this track in recent years, considering they are also expecting to keep improving their car until a point at which they will actually be able to fight for race wins, as said by their team principal, Toto Wolf. We must definitely keep an eye on them. Two other drivers we must be attentive to are Spanish drivers on the grid, Carlos Sainz and Fernando Alonso. The two Spaniards will be racing at home and it wouldn't be a surprise if they had a good result, considering they both seem to have fast cars, especially Sainz. It would be outstanding if he managed to take first pole and or win in Spain, given that this season he does have the machinery to achieve this milestone. And what a better place to do that at than home, in front of all the loved ones, right? At this time of the video, we want to hear from you. What are your expectations for the Grand Prix? Who do you think will win? Will we see any surprises? We'll read you in the comment section below. If you've made it to this point, thank you very much for watching until the end. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing so as not to miss any future uploads of this kind. This being it for today, until next time, 